Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. This is video five in the series where I'm looking at lots of different amps in plugins. Now, with this plugin, we're doing something slightly different because I'm looking at the Waves GTR bundle. The Waves GTR bundle has been around for quite some time and Waves do some amazing deals on it. At the moment, I think it's like $30, which is an absolute steal. So if you're looking to get into the amps in world, the Waves GTR bundle is a great way of getting into it because not only do you get some fantastic sounding amplifiers, and there's quite a few of them, you also get a bundle of effects like delays, choruses, reverbs, distortions, overdrives, fuzzes, all that sort of stuff. So everything that you're gonna to need to record on your DAW. Now I'm gonna leave a link in the notes below and this is an affiliate link. So just to let you know that if you do click on the link and you buy the plugin, it's not gonna cost you anymore, but it's also gonna support the Studio Rats channel. Anyway, let's get to it. What I'm gonna do is to start from a blank patch. Now Waves GTR comes with lots of different options. So we can either load it in as a complete set where we've got pedals and amp and speaker, and then we can add effects afterwards. Or you can do what I prefer, which is to load in individual plugins. Now, what I'm gonna do first of all is to load in some stomp boxes first. So this is gonna be my overdrives, compressors. You can even put reverbs and delays before the amp if you want, but I'm just gonna be worried about overdrives and compression. So I'm gonna copy my stomp into my first insert slot. So you can think of this as a pedal board and we can click down here on each of these and choose different pedals. The first thing I always like to put in is a compressor. So let's bring in the compressor. And next I'm gonna bring in an overdrive pedal. So let's turn off the overdrive and the compressor just to start with. The next part I'm gonna load in is the amp. And I'm gonna choose this one, which is amp mono to stereo. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because you've got now two cabs, which we can pan hard left and right, which really does sound great. As I said at the moment, the pedals are switched off. So the amp on its own sounds like this. We can choose our different amp types here, either by clicking or actually choosing the amp that we want down here. Now I'm gonna to go to drive and choose edgy. This amp here is a really great, sort of clean sound on the verge of breakup. Sounds like this. So you could think of that like a AC30 sort of tone. Now I'm just gonna turn up the drive just a little bit. Right, and I'm also gonna give it just a tiny bit of treble and a little bit of presence. Now, if we come down here, we can actually choose our different cabinets. I'm gonna leave it as it is at the moment, but you can see you've got loads of choice. We can pan them left and right. We can also add some element of delay in there, and that's the timing between the speaker and the microphone. And talking to microphones, we can also choose the different microphones down here. Again, I'm just gonna leave it as it is, as I think the sound is great. So we've got our basic amp tone sorted out. Now what I wanna do is to load in a couple of effects after the amp. So these are gonna be my reverbs and delays. So again, think of it like your pedal board. Uh, let's go right to the end as I always have my reverb right at the end. And I'm gonna go down here and choose reverb. So off the bat, that sounds like this. It's a really nice hall sound of reverb, but I think the time could be increased as I want a bigger reverb. And I'm gonna bring back the mix a bit as well. I think I could just bring the time up just a little bit more. Now, waves are known for their effects. So you know all of the reverbs, delays, overdrive pedals in here are gonna to be top notch. Before the reverb, I'm gonna load in a delay. Sounds like this. If we don't want the delay so hard panned left and right, so ping pongy, we can bring back that stereo control there. And I'm also gonna bring back the mix as I don't want so much delays in this track. And I'm gonna bring back the feedback. That's the amount of repeats. And let's EQ back the delays just so they don't interfere with the guitar tone. It's a really nice sounding clean sound. What I can now do is to go back to my stomps and let's bring in some overdrive. Let's bring back the level a bit. Now, I think I'm gonna crank the drive all the way up.
And let's turn the drive off and let's get the compressor dialed in. I don't really want to over compress, but let me just show you what it sounds like if I turn up the compression. You know, we get that really sort of snappy, really sort of tight compression sort of sound. Let's bring it back. Now, when I use a compressor, I just like it just to, just to grab the peaks. Okay, so now we've got our clean sound. If we want to add some overdrive in, just click here. And if I want to, I can add some more effects here. Let's, uh, let's have a look at a fuzz. Okay, so now I've got my basic input pedal board. Let's go back to my output pedal board. And just before the delay, I'm going to add in a tremolo. So I'm going to come down to Vibrolo down here. And we get the choice here of a vibe and a trem. So this is what the trem sounds like. If I bring back the trem volume, I could bring in the vibe as well. Right, let's bring back the rate. Now, personally, I prefer the trem, but I'm going to bring in some trem and just have the vibe just in the background. I really hope you guys got something out of that. It is a great sounding plugin and for $30, it's an absolute steal. As I said, there is a link in the notes below and it is an affiliate link. So if you click on it, you're also supporting the Studio Rats channel and it's not gonna cost you a penny more. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.